Good evening and welcome to the Sports Bar on Talk Sport with me, Jamie Hart. I'm your host, and him over there is Jason Cundy. Hey! Has anyone seen David Moyes? Ariola? Emerson? Ogbonna? Has anyone seen Tia? Fornells? Sushek? Prowse? You might have one. Hello, Beatin. Kudos? Danny Ings? Medrama? Paolo Di Canio? Danny Dyer? The other Danny Dyer? Can you hear me, the other Danny Dyer? Your boy, Chuck Watt, hello, beating, blowing, the other Danny Dyer. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Kieran Nagley, Ray Winston, Ray Winston, James Gordon, Upton Park, the bubble machine, bubble machine. Can you hear me? Your boy, Chuck Watt, hello, beating, Tom Skinner, Abash. Tom Skinner, Abosh. Your boy took one, hell of a Abosh. The Bosch Beds, Barack Obama, Jelly Deals, Alvin Martin, Frank Lampard Sr., Hammerhead, Hammerhead, Brian Mash, Faces Nightclub, Westfield, Stokefield. Your boy took one, hell of a beating. Hello, mate. Woo. How are you? All right, mate. I'm unfit, by the way. That's our graph, that. I'll tell you every, everything. I went on for about three minutes. I know. I, I mean, I love love when teams lose. Yeah, and I sit all of a sudden going, oh, my God, I've got to do as anyone's seen. I've got to go for it. And I went for it. Um, yeah, it was an easy you one. You did West go Dave. for it. You did go for I it. I did. I did. Old oh, Jelly Hill's got it. You all right, Neil? Yeah, hello, Neil. mate. Hello, mate. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, you good? He loves uh, it, just strolls in and out, doesn't he, boy? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You all right? You good? I'm good. I'm great. I mean, come on. I'm great. West Ham got beat. Well, Stan got beat. It was good. It was good fun. Dan Lawless, we had that conversation with him on the show. People were listening, you know, what, half 12. Yeah. It was, uh, we got into him, didn't we? We got into him. You did. You fell out with him. Well, I didn't fall out with him. I just made a couple of, you know, points what on Declan point? Rice. What were the points? What were the points you made? Well, no, look, he was obviously talking about you know, Declan Rice's talking point and how good he's been since he's gone to Arsenal. And he has. He's been absolutely fantastic. And, you know, his game against Sevilla the other night, I thought he was brilliant. So we just. I asked, I just, you know, was asking him, or you asked the question, has he become a better player? And he was like, no, 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 he hasn't become a better player. He's already a good player. And I said, he's become a better player. He's gone to Arsenal, he's a better player. Because he's at a better club, he's around better players, better coaches, better facilities. He's a better player. And he, and he weren't having that. He was like, no, he's, you're just seeing a player that was already at West Ham. And I said, no, he's took the shackles off. You, they've took the shackles off him. And he's become a better player, and he he, he didn't like it. And he just had to accept it. Because yeah. West Ham fans seem to think that what Arsenal have got was at West Ham. But what I've seen is they paid a lot of money for a player who's a very good player, but he's gone to Arsenal. I think he's a better player. The problem West Ham fans have got, and this happened earlier in the season, where West Ham fans were very not all, but a lot were saying we're a better side without Declan Rice, which is which is rubbish. But what they could say is that we're a better side using the Declan Rice money, bringing in Jane Ward-Prowse in particular, yeah. and, I've, and spreading that money thinly yeah, yeah. across the squad. So they're a better squad. Yes. In terms of a team, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Declan Rice has, in my mind, has been one of the best defensive attacking midfielders around for a long time. The problem we had at West Ham is that that attacking side, we saw at West Ham, but not enough of... Mm. And at Arsenal, I think he's been allowed to be in a little bit more of a freer role. West Ham fans were screaming down the, the, the radio saying, we saw that at West Ham. Yeah, I know we did. There was that goal that, against Sheffield United where it hit his arm, where it should have been allowed. He does that. But what we're seeing now, yeah. we're now seeing Declan Rice, the hundred, it, we're seeing the £100 million footballer that you, you always buy on potential, but we're now starting to see mm. where Arsenal's money went. West Ham took it, which yeah. is fine, which is great. Great business both sides. But let me tell you now, this this kid is going to continue to grow, continue to get better, and he's going to improve. And I've seen improvements in his game already. And West Ham fans can either admit or deny that. But if you don't, mm -hmm. if you if you think that hasn't happened, you're lying to yourself. Well, you look at players at Brighton. Some of them, like, they, they play really well. And then they go to a bigger club because they sell their, their best players. And it doesn't really work out for them. But takes a bit of time. We, takes a bit of time. We're still waiting to but see. But Declan Rice has left West Ham. He's gone to a better football club. 
whether they like it or not, it's a bigger, but a they, better and bigger football that. club. They'll agree with that. They're not going to. And he's become that. a better player. It's just natural, right? And, you know, and, Gareth Bale, Luka Modric, they left Tottenham, they went to Real Madrid, become better players. Harry Kane left Spurs, went to Bayern Munich, became <laughs> Harry Kane. You cannot say that. Oh. You can't say that about Harry Kane. Oh. He's a he's a top scorer. <laughs> In history. Oh, oh, we don't like it now. No, no. I'm just saying, Harry Kane's different. Because they've, they've been about, playing in Champions a, League. Did he go to a bigger and better club? He's gone to a bigger and better club, yes. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's gone to a bigger and better club. We'll but he's, he's already finished but by, article. By the, by the way, he's looking at Spurs top of the table. By me at what, third, fourth at the minute? I don't know where they are. Yeah, are they're, they? not, they're not Yeah, they're not top. I have no idea where they are. Not, but anyway, the, po- the point still stands. I'm only messing with this. The point still stands. That Declan Rice has gone, and he's playing in a... He's playing the Champions League. It's the elite competition. This is not the Conference Europa League. This is a different level. Yeah. And you can make a very good argument today. Would they have lost 2 0 with Declan Rice in it? No. 2 1. Was it 2 1? 2 1 in the end, was it 2 1? Yeah. Was it right? So, so there, there you go. But I think West Ham fans can be proud of what they produced. 100 million for him. They, their squad has shown under David Moyes that they can evolve as a football team. They're a tough team to beat. Mm. Really difficult. But I don't know why they can't be a little bit, gra- bit more gracious in the fact that they've seen their best player leave and he's going on to bigger and better things. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.